It has become that time of year where the nights get very cold, the air pressure in vehicle tires goes down, and you have to try it back up again. So naturally I got out this air compressor. This is the one that I used to do it every year. This is a Campbell Haasfield built to last cordless compressor. And unlike a lot of things that make that claim, this actually has lasted quite a long time. We've had this for, I don't know, 15, 20 years now. It's taken a beating over the years and needs to be cleaned. But it has always provided very reliable service. The only thing that's really broken by itself is the little tab on top of there. So this no longer stays in place. But other than that, it's still fully functional. Now this year when I went to use it, the battery ran out about halfway through the process. So I looked in the box to get the power cord out and I couldn't find the power cord. And so I needed to go to work and I needed to put air in the car and I just started getting irritated so I got my box of AC adapters out and I must have 15 or 20 ones in there and none of them would fit into the charging port and so I just <laughs> I just jammed it in there really hard thinking that maybe it'll fit which is completely ridiculous and then the port broke which is a totally logical and predictable sequence of events but I did it anyways the human mind is a fascinating thing then I says what what's in this compartment I opened it up oh there's the power cord well too bad I can't plug it in and charge it up because now the port has broke so we need to get this opened up so that I can attempt to get that power uh, charging port back into place that opened up very easily and it looks like some things floating around in here, but I suspect this will be a relatively easy repair because it looks like we'll be able to get at the at the jack without too much struggle. So the jack is up over there. Well, let's see, does this come off? Ah, yes. Okay. So what's happened is. Looks like the whole circuit board has just come loose. Okay, so I think what's what's transpired is the circuit board here has simply disconnected from the mounting point up here. Oh no, did the switch break too? I'm going to take the battery out before we proceed any further because this, this is a 12 volt battery and although it's almost out of charge these can provide a nice little shock if you're not careful My guess is going to be that this sits in there like that on that circuit board and then that somehow interfaces with the plastic switch on the other side. So I'm going to try to sit this back down because we're, we're battling two things. We're battering that, that ball falling out of the switch and this coming off of the board so hopefully uh, this doesn't become too much of a frustration. I'll try to just put it down just like this and get everything in place the first try. You know, because everything always goes right the first time around. Okay, 
So that's sitting down in there now. It actually feels like it's working. Huh. Okay. So then I think the only thing we have to do now is screw this back into place because that's what seems to have broken. So let's see if I can find a screw that would be suitable here for this situation. I think I see one already. Okay. That sure seems like it's going to work. Well, let's put the battery back in and see if it worked. Okay, nothing has exploded yet. It's working. Okay. So, now let's see, is this plug going to work correctly? Where's the plug? It is. Wow. That was so easy. Probably shouldn't make any more commentary until I get this put the rest of the way back together. How did this go? I think it was like this. Okay, now we'll screw it back in. Here's the tab that broke off. That probably could not be fixed because of how much pressure would go on there. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot with the... Maybe the, the crazy glue or whatever that stuff is called to see if it would fix that. But anyways, I'm more concerned about testing the repair. Let's hide all this stuff back out of sight so I'll forget where it is again next time. What am I doing wrong here? Okay, is it working? Yes it is. Okay, now let's try to charge it up. Jeez, what in the world happened to this power cord? Why is this like this? I certainly didn't make it like this. This is deplorable. Well, I'll fix that later. That's not video worthy. There we go, it's charging. So that is now repaired.